All right, what's up, guys? Uh, this is another review. This is a review of the Air Jordan 1 Retro Orange and Royal, also known as the New York Knicks. And hopefully, it'll be worn by or if haven't already by Carmelo Anthony um, since he represents Jordan brand. Uh, these particular pair of shoes are not my size. I'll show you right here on the box. They're size 11 and a half. I'm usually about a nine and a half and uh, you're probably wondering why I bought these then. Well I bought them to do the review. I wanted to get them on my hands and and be able to take a good look at them let you know what I think about them. I uh, wasn't able to get my size when they first came out. I went to a local boutique where I live and there they were sitting there and this is the last pair left so I decided to buy them. If someone's interested in getting these from me off uh, YouTube, um, I'll accept $165 shipped, and that's basically the price I paid plus $15 shipping. So if you want, uh, shoot me a comment or a message about it, and then with your email address, so then I can forward you uh, forward you an invoice. Um, I'm not interested in making money off the shoe or anything like that. I just wanted to review the shoe. Now. The box itself is pretty nice. Um, the camera's not doing it justice, but this has a really bright orange uh, Nike all over both sides and on the other side. And the backs, the bottom's the pretty normal bottom. Inside, what came with the shoe? Basic tissue, shoe tree. I took all that out. Uh, took the shoe trees out. The box itself is pretty nice, a little thin, uh, just comparing it to the Air Jordan and, um, Cement 3's that came out two years ago with that that box and the Air Jordan uh, 4's that came out last year with their retro box. Those boxes were a little bit thicker, those stronger type boxes than this one, but still nice box and it's especially nice in comparison to just a regular Nike box that they have now, that brown one. To the shoes themselves, uh, I will tell you that I was really surprised with how good the leather is on these shoes at the price point that they came at, uh, about $140 before taxes. Uh, this leather is not as stiff as some of the leathers I've seen, especially on the Air Jordan 4s last year. It's got a little bit more softness to it. It is stiff, but it's a little bit more has a better feel to it overall. Um, you can see the symbol there, nicely painted on. Not too many flaws. Uh, no pop stitching or anything like that, so they're well made. As you can see, no jump man on the back, which I think is pretty cool. Just like the Nike on there. Real basic. Got the white bottom. Again, sewn in. Here's the other shoe. So you just look at the shoe. No flaws. These are brand new, other than maybe being tried in, tried on at the store, as you can see. So laces are undone. So the front. One thing I noticed on this shoe on the right is the little leather right there is a little uneven, not as stretched out. But you're gonna get that from time to time. Uh, also, what's cool is it got the Nike Air on it, which I think is a nice touch. I'm glad they did that. And this is canvas. Bottom's got a little bit of padding in there, not much. The original Air Jordan 1 didn't have much padding as far as the ankle and on the tongue. So I've never had an original Air Jordan 1, but uh, this I think is a little more padded than, than that. Um, on the heel, this appears to be a little more, more padding. But not like the fats, the Air Jordan Retro Fats, so they have more, way more padding for heel support. Uh, you can see how it thins out here at the top, where you lace it up like that, but then it has a little padding back in the heel, ankle area. Inside the shoe, this one can see a little bit better. You can see the Carmelo Anthony, the Apple for New York. There's a 7 at the top. And there's a headband on the apple, so all that representing Carmelo Anthony. Pretty nice touch there. Bottom of the shoe, pretty basic there. 
orange. Let's see what I paid for the price tag right there. Pulled these right off the shelf. These are the last ones they had. Um, the orange on the laces are a little bit brighter than the orange on the rest of the shoes. So it's a little bit brighter. Uh, same thing with the Nike check at, at the top of the shoe. It's a little brighter than the rest of the shoe. So wish they would have been more consistent with the orange. I think the orange you went on the bottom is a little bit brighter than the rest of the shoe. Only other thing on the lace tips, it's just black. Nothing special about it, nothing written on it. It's just a black lace tip. Not sure why they would do black when they could have done blue or orange. Okay, and that's it. So shoot me a comment or um, message me if you're interested in these shoes. I'll accept PayPal and I'll send you an invoice. Uh, of course, I'll need your email address. And 165 ship. Not making any money off it. I just wanted to do a review, let you know what I think. And I would say that I would love to have this shoe. The colorway is not a little bright. I'm not a New York Nick guy, uh, but it's a very, very nice shoe, I think. And uh, I think whoever gets the owner pair and gets to wear these around would really enjoy it. So uh, that's it in the video. Check you guys out later.